hello, 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 and welcome to our mixed level class today using a TheraBand. And if you don't have a band, you can use a belt, a scarf, a towel, anything like that just to help you along the way. So please listen to your bodies, guys. Do what feels good for you. And let's get you centered and warm. So first things first, find your core. Let's get that posture beautiful. Take a strong inhale through your nose, filling your lungs up. And take your deep exhale through your mouth. Let's go again. Inhale through your nose, filling your lungs up. And deep exhale as we tuck our chin. Soft knees, connecting core. And let's roll the body down for deep core breath at the bottom. And breathe out as we slowly roll the body up. Shoulders pull back, chin comes up. Inhale, exhale, tuck to roll down. Excellent, deep breath in at the bottom and slowly bringing your spine up for one more inhale, exhale, tuck and roll it, stay hanging out, warming these legs up, bending knees, exhale, stretch, inhale, bend and stretch and three, breathe four and stretch, inhale, five and stretch, breathe six and breathe seven, one more. And eight, slowly bringing your spine up. Turn your palms to face forward and move into that side bend. Inhaling back, breathe out side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, side. And back, breathe out. And reaching this arm up and over, lengthen out your fingertips. Beautiful, pass five and four and three. Breathe two and one, up and over, and reach five and four and three. Breathe two and one, keeping your chin centered, shoulders down. What are these shoulders, these arms doing today? How tight are they feeling? Let's get them limber, let's get them warm. And two more, and breathe one other way. Let's circle five, circle four, Breathe out three, exhale two, breathe for one. I want you to anchor your shoulders, turn your head to the side and very gently with your heart flutes. Getting that neck feeling beautifully mobile. Good. And another two more reps. And one more. Bringing your eyes down to the ground, back into that roll down. And bending and stretching, inhaling, soft knees, exhale, nice big stretch out. Inhale, soft knees, breathe out to stretch. Inhale for three, and let's stretch, breathe four, and stretch two more, breathe five, and stretch one more, breathe six, and hold it here in that stretch for three, and two, Breathe one, soften your knees, roll your body up, interlace your hands behind the butt and stretch out the chest, the shoulders, open that up for two breaths, for one more deep core breath and let's see how that spine moves, curl into your spine, tuck your chin, tilt your pelvis up. We stretch our legs, reach your hands up through the roof. Bend your knees, curl the body up and over. Excellent, stretch and reach. And bend, tuck and curl. Three, inhale to lift the body up. Bend, tuck and curl for one more. Breathe out, stretch and lift. And stay here for me as we draw our shoulders down. Soften the knees, anchor your hips and add in a rotation to the side. Inhale, come back. Stay gentle with this move. Rotate. Inhale to centre. Foot two, breathing out. Inhale, back. Exhale, rotate. And come back other way and holding here. Pulse this out. Five and four and three. Breathe two and one. Draw it back. Other way, gently pulse out. Five and four. And three, breathe two and one, relax these arms, take your big step out, turn your toes and knees out, 
Head these arms out and into your side lunge, pulling that knee back. Hello in the thighs. Let's get these hip flexors open, feeling stretched. Breathe out low and up. Exhale down and three more each way down. Inhale, breathe out lower. Breathe for two. Exhale, watching the foot, watching ankle and knee. Let's hold it here. Getting into that position, pulse gently. Ten and nine and eight. Breathe seven and six and five. Exhale, four and three. Breathe two and one. We'll stay this side. Turn your body all the way. Lean your upper body forward. And give me a glide forward and back for five. And four. Breathe three. Exhale and breathe two. And one. And let's stretch this hip flexor up. Open this hamstring in the front. Always check where's your neck, your shoulder, your spine placement. Posture away. Always. Lovely stuff. Let's bring this body up and over. Watch your knee and your ankle. Gently pulse. Ten and nine and eight. Breathe seven. Exhale six and five. Breathe four and three and two and one. Let's swivel and get down into that stretch out. Holding it here. Four forward and back. And three. And breathe two. And breathe one. Hold that stretch. And maintain for five. And four. Breathe three. Excellent. So from this position, drop those knees down for me. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Soften the elbows. Draw the neck. Lengthen in and out. And breathe out as we curl into your spine, into your core. And let's release right on cue, cat and cow, and time for Joey to join us. Again, breathe out as we curl into your spine, warm up the core. And gently moving into your lumbar release. Three, breathe out as we tuck and curl, zipping your belly right up to your spine. And inhale as we release enough for one more. Breathe out, tuck and curl, and maintain this position for three, and two, and one. Excellent. Bring your toes together. Open up your knees. Set your bums down. Reach these hands forward and get that beautiful stretch out for three breaths. Reaching your hands forward. And hold for two. Holding for one, let's see what your lats are feeling like. Walk your hands one side, hold three, hold two, hold one, lovely other side, walking over and hold for three, holding two, holding one. As you come back to centre, roll your spine up gently and let's get straight into some alignment into core. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips, tilt that pubic bone to belly, get into that habit of connecting right in the centre. Reach opposite arm and leg forward. Now that gets a bit too intense at any point, you can drop your back toes to stay on the ground. If you feel you can, keep that foot in the air, go for it. And watch what your hips and your lower back do throughout. Let's go. Curl into the body. Elbow, knee, touch. Breathe out. Lengthen and align. Again, inhale. Curling into the body. And breathe out. Stretch to centre. Three. Inhale. I want to see that mobility in your spine and neck. And now this is where you focus on your reach and alignment. Four, inhale, curl the body. Breathe out, watching your chin, your neck, your shoulder placement. Five, inhale, curl. Watching that body stays right here in the centre, no tilting forward. Inhale, curl in the body. Breathe out to stretch. Let's do two more. Inhale, deep curl. Breathe out as we stretch. And last one. Inhale to curl. Now, if you want to move into a gentle option, bring both hands down. If you feel fine, keep 
with that arm in the air. I want everyone's leg in the air and we're circling for one, not letting your body weight sway. Two, keep that weight off the wrist. Three, circle for four, make sure that back does not change position. Moving to six, bring up for seven, exhale for eight, let's reverse it for one. Breathe out for two, watch your body's not swaying, side to side, three, tummy's tight. Four, check where your shoulders are, and five, breathe out for six, exhale for seven, one more for eight, and hello body, I know one side is warm, let's reach, opposite hand forward, gentle option, toes on the ground, more advanced, we lift, and all together we curl in into the body. I love this activation because we are showing how dynamic our spine can be as we curl into mobility and then lengthen to engage into core. If you don't engage correctly, you'll feel your hips tilting, your back arching, no support in the neck and spine. Four, inhale, curling in. Breathe out, keeping that body weight right in the center, not over the wrist or back into hips. Breathe out, always checking that shoulder does not pop up. We have three more. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, curl two. Breathe out to stretch. Inhale, curl for one. Breathe out, remember if you want a gentle option, hands down on the ground, otherwise you keep your arm where it was. And eight, loops. And seven, keep that body weight right in the center. And six, exhale for five. Breathe out, four, keep squeezing tummy and bum. Three, breathe out for two. Exhale for one, other way, one. Breathe out for two. Exhale for three. Deep breath out, four. Exhale, five. And six, breathe out, seven, one more, and eight. And relax, opening feet and knees, lengthen those hands in front of you, and gently lower into your thoracic stretch for three breaths, holding for two deep breaths, holding for one. I want your toes digging into the floor. We lift this body up into its downward dog stretch, focus on that length in your spine. From here, walk those feet out, bend in one knee, stretch in the other, swap, and two. Breathe out, swap, let's move for three. And swap, one more, and four. And stretch both legs out and hold for three. Hold two. Hold one, I want you to bend your knees. Walk your hands back towards your feet. And very slowly, rolling it up. And let's grab hold of these bands and belts. Okay, feet and knees are hip distance apart, toes facing forward. I want to see that shoulder mobility. So we want quite a wide grip, nice and loose in that band. Prioritize your chin, don't let it tuck down. You want to keep it lifted, nice open line of the collarbone, shoulders stay down. Let's breathe out as we rise up onto these toes, Taking your hands as high as possible without letting that shrug of the shoulders happen. So anchor in your shoulder blades. Inhale, lower these heels down, lower the hands. Two, as you rise up, I want you to feel that zip from that pubic bone right through the center of the body. And slowly lower the body down. Three, let's strengthen these feet, these ankles. Feel those calves, hamstrings, and bums engage. And lower. Four. Now you'll notice your knees will want to start to bend as we move. Try not let that happen. Almost grow taller as we lower down. Five. Breathe out each rep. I'm hoping these shoulders feel looser. No tension in the neck, no tension in those traps. Five more, breathe out, tighten in your ribs, your belly, make sure you are not tilting backwards. Four more, breathe out, rising up. Yes, and lower down for three. Exhale, rising up, I should be able to come and give you a little push and you don't even wobble, you are saying so 
stable up in there. And let's go to lift up. And draw back down, last one. Now, can you find your balance for me? And hold it there. If you can, take your eyes with you as we rotate. If it's too much, keep your eyes facing forward. Inhale to center. No movement from those hips down. Keeping that core so strong. Hello, ankle stability. And two. Inhale, come back. Breathe out, rotate. Inhale, come back. Whoa, can you do two more? If it's starting to get too much, lower the heels, soften knees, and just continue with that upper body. One more. Breathe out, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Now come back, lower heels halfway and up. Halfway and up. Breathe three and lift and four and up. Breathe five. Hello, burn. Yes, and four more. Lift and three more. Lift, breathe two more and breathe one. Drop the heels, soften your knees. I'm not done with those arms. And from here, bend those elbows. Bend to the top of your head. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze into your upper backs. And stretch. And three. So just a reminder, I don't want anyone working here. If you're feeling those necks and traps, it's wrong. Even if you have to lower the range, I'm happy with that. Let's get these posture muscles so strong. So when you're walking down and someone compliments you on your magnificent posture, you'll be thankful for these moves. Let's go four more and up. Breathe three more and up. Exhale two more and lift and breathe one. Keep that activation. Drop your arms shoulder height. Hello, upper arms. Bend your elbows. Bring your band to your chest. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, connect those shoulder blades and stretch. Breathe out three. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, four. Inhale, stretch. Breathe out five. And stretch. Exhale, six. And stretch. Breathe out seven. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, eight. And stretch. Two more. Breathe nine. And one more. Exhale. If you want to rest, go for it if you can. Add a little pulse. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Ten little moves. Nine. Let's go deep into those upper back, into those deeper shoulder muscles. Six more. And five more. And four. And three. And two. Breathe one. Stretch those arms forward. And relax. Amazing. Drop in those bands, standing on the back of your mat. Roll your spine down once again. Walking forward into that downward dog. I'm hoping you can push a bit deeper into your stretch. Give me two breaths here. Focus on that space between each vertebra. Lift your tailbone to the roof. And from here, we either go into a high plank position. If that feels a little bit too intense, drop your knees and stay in the knee high plank. And all I want is 10 strong, slow breaths, mastering the form. For nine, check in, there's that tilt up cubic bone to bend. The shoulders are drawing down away from your ears, your eyes are forward. We are never here in that disconnect. If you're feeling the lower back straining, it is wrong. I don't want that back feeling vulnerable. Let's do another five strong breaths. The ribs, the belly, those transits, the thighs, the buns are rock hard. Three. Hello, core. Breathe two. Deep breath for one. And relax. Yes. I hope that's just getting stronger, stronger, stronger. Let's see what this mobility and core is doing. So I want these legs extended in front of you. Grab that band. I know this is familiar for lots of you, but it's one of my all-time faves because it just shows us so much here. Our mobility, agility, strength, that core. And let's move into that forward bend. I'm hoping that it's becoming natural that whenever we forward bend, your core activates naturally to support your spine. 
Do a check here that your shoulders are not tense enough. And from here, I want you to curl back. Now, keeping it either halfway or a little bit beyond. We're not doing a full roll up today. I want you to stop in this position. Chins are centered. Shoulders staying down. Zip your belly right down to the base. Now, make sure you are using these lower abdominals. Lifting up. And remember, this is progression exercise. So every time we're coming back, you are hoping to go a little bit deeper in your stretch. Beautiful. Let's lower back. I want your spine to curl, your belly button to zip. Lengthen these arms in front. Check where your chin, where your shoulders are sitting. Take a deep, strong core breath. Power from those lower abdominals. And into that forward bend and stretch it out. Hold. Excellent. Let's tuck and curl down. Zip into your core. Tighten in the ribs. Good. Taking a strong breath. Let's lift up. Now we're going to stay in the next position. So holding the stretch. Now anchoring at your maximum. Either halfway or bit beyond. And I want 10 deep, slow breaths. And nine. Feel that deep activation. We're on seven. Breathe out for six. Exhale for five. Breathe out for four. Exhale for three. Beautiful. Breathe two. Now trigger that core as we lift up. I want you gliding your band off. Bring your feet together. Open up those hips. And from here, walk your hands forward. I also want you getting your body out of those shoulders. So stick your bum out. That's what helps me to lengthen the spine. And always feeling that connection in your hips and lower back. All right, give me another three. Another two. Another one. Beautiful stuff. Bending those knees for me. Hook your heels into the ground. Fold your band or belt in half. And let's see some rowing work. Hands are shoulder width. Watch your shoulders stay beautifully pinned. And once again, we stay in a curl. Now, if anyone there has that DR, if those muscles are feeling tight, neck is feeling strained, keep it a smaller range. If your back can go more, we've got a little bit further. Watch your eyes. Don't tuck down. And let's go rowing over for one. And breathe out, swap. Now, as you do this move, watch your knees and your ankles. They are staying anchored. Don't let those knees and ankles roll in or roll out. We get those obliques to kick it. And swap. Give me six more. Breathe out for five. And swap. Exhale, four. And swap. Breathe out, three. Breathe, swap. Exhale, two. And swap last time, breathe one. Bring your bodies back to center. And it is V, sit, time. Wow, I love a V, sit. So I'm going to give you two options. For those of you who do need the back support, please, I don't want anyone feeling pain or strain in the back, using your hands. And the focus is this lift in your spine. So before we all about the curl, now it's all about that lift up. So we're strengthening those corset muscles of the back and the front here. If you can go a little bit more intense today, rather use your band. I want everyone to lift those feet into the air. Now remember, shoulder blades stay connected. Your back is the absolute priority. Holding position. From here, we're going to heel tap down, hinging from your knees and lift. And we heel tap and lift. If you're working with your hands, we are here. And lift and breathe forward. And if any lower back start to straighten at any point, come out of this move and take a breather. Now grow tall into the roof. Let's do five more. And up. Breathe four. And up, breathe for three. And up, and breathe two. And up, last time, breathe one. Even if you feel 100% and don't need a break, take it. 
bring it down, open those hips and reach it forward. While you are there, have a squeeze at where we go next. So once again, you can have hands or band. Anchor that back in that beautiful lift up. And from there, we're going to extensions and bend. All right, join me into position. If you've already started, we're just going to do more. All right, find that beautiful form. Let's go, peeps. V set, stretch and bend. Keep going for two. Now be strict. Try not to let that body collapse back three. And bend. You might be here, and that's fine. Four. Even if the legs don't extend fully, it's fine. Sometimes the hamstrings are too tight. It's like, no, Rob's, I'm not doing that move. And let's go four more. And bend. Breathe. Three. And bend. Exhale. Two. Do a quick check of where your back is, shoulders and neck. One, if you can, stay with me. Stretch at your maximum. If you are up for the power move, drop hands, drop bands, lift your arms. Another four beautiful breaths. Three, breathe, two, and one. Lower these feet down and on to the backs we go. Oh, I hope you love a V-sit set as much as I do. Let's pull the knees in. Relax into your lumbar. Relax into jaw and necks. Open up these feet and knees, loosening these hips up. Often our core movements are restricted because our hip flexors are so tight. And that V-sit exercise is one of the best examples of that. So if you're feeling those hips being so tight and that's how the move can happen, you know we are on a hip flexor release mission. Let's reverse other way, circling for four, letting that back release. And three, and breathe out two. Exhale for one, ankles and knees glue together. Open up your arms to T-line, anchor your feet down. If you can, lift your heels slightly, go there. If the feet cramp, keep your heels relaxed. And let's gently lower knees one way. Always making sure you pin your shoulders back. They are your safety net in the rotation. So you don't want your spine to over rotate. Your shoulders prevent that from happening. And coming back, beautiful. Squeeze your thighs together so you have your adductors, inner thighs involved to help with control. Breathe out to lower. Good, inhale back. Exhale, lower. And I want you to stay in this position. Lift your top leg up, hand onto your knee, and very gently stretch for four, for three, for two. Breathe one. Lovely stuff. Other way, let's rotate. Lift your leg up, press down, and hold four, and three, and two. And one, as you come back, I want you to please hug your one knee into your chest. Flatten your lower spine, shoulders stay pinned back. And option A, leg to the ceiling for the gentle work. Option B, leg extends lower down. If that doesn't strain your back, go lower. Let's go, slowly swapping as you go. Deep breath out to swap. And every time we come back to this exercise, you want to feel this ability to keep that back completely flat in the ground. You want to feel how that really targets your psoas, your inner, inner core. It's so easy to use your thighs and your lower back to power this move. But you stay body aware. Use these TAs, those transverse muscles. Watch those shoulders are not shrugging forward. Working with absolute control, no momentum kicking in, breathing out. You want to feel that belly staying flat. Let's do three more. Exhale to swap. Deep breath up for two. Exhale to swap. Beautiful. Breathing out one. Exhale to swap. Now bring both knees into your chest. Ankles and knees stay glued. Imprint, imprint, imprint. 
Option A, as you stretch your legs, they go up to the roof or the gentle option. Option B, you take them to 45 and keep that back flat, flat, flat. Inhale, come down. So if your legs are going lower, you'll force your back off the mat, which I don't want. So let's go lengthen out arms and legs and make your back the priority and staying glued down. With that, you want to feel how the ribs, that belly, those core transverse muscles engage. Squeeze those legs together to stretch. If anyone's lower back is really staying tight in this, keep it a tiny move. Don't extend those legs fully. Listen to your bodies, guys. Can you do five more without straining into the spine and pull? This is one of our ultimate core activation. And come back. Three, you want to feel how that belly flattens down. And let's lower two. Breathe out your neck and your jaw should be completely relaxed. And on one, can you stay at maximum and check your backs are flat, your ribs, belly, TAs are rock hard. Give me another beautiful deep breath. And then draw your knees in. Keep your ankles and knees touching. Loop it around, massaging your sacrum, your lumbar into the mat. And two more. And one more. Other way, circling around, four, and breathe, three, exhale, for two, breathe out, for one, open knees, open feet, lift them up towards your shoulders for that hip flexor and SI joint stretch. If you feel you can actually push into your happy baby pose, move in here. And if that back is still feeling a little bit tight, Give your body a gentle rock side to side. And glutes and hammies, I'm coming for you next. So if they need a pep talk, it's time. All right, bringing those feet down. Please grab hold of your band belt. We're gonna place it over that back foot. I want you to make sure your elbows stay anchored down. So no shrugging of those shoulders. Foot is underneath your knee. Alignment is key, so we imprint in. Squeeze, option A is that tilt of the bum. Option B, if your back can go into a full lift, let's go there. Look at your pelvis and make sure you are always centered. Slowly massaging your lower back into the mat. Let's imprint, tilt, or lifting up. Listen to the option that feels correct for your spine. And down. And I want you to really work on that conditioning of tightening that belly every time you lift. So this is as much of an abdominal exercise as it is for the bums and hamstrings. You need those abs to tighten. That is what's supporting the lower back here. Yeah. Four more, imprint, tilt, or lifting up. And every time we come back to this one leg work, the progression is able to lift higher without tilting, without straining in the back. Two more, imprint to lift, and slowly lower. Imprint, tilt, and lift. Now, on this one, I want you to stay either in a tilt or in a full lift and those hips stay still. Your theraband leg is going to lower without lowering the hips and lift that leg. Let's lower down and lift. Keep checking where your hips are. They stay anchored. Breathe for four and up and five. Don't let go of that bum and hamstring working and lift. We have two more and lift. Breathe for one more. If you've reached your maximum, relax. If you can add a power pulse, let's go. Ten, nine, and eight, and seven. Control the move. Six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax. Done. In. One side done. Let's see the other side. Shoulders. Elbows anchored down, imprint, option A, tilt, option B, lift up, and melt through your spine. Imprint, tilt, or lift up, 
and slowly lower for three. In front, squeezing up. Keep checking where your pelvis is sitting. Four, in front to lift and slowly lower. In front, squeeze up fast and let's lower down. Breathe out, squeeze for six and let's lower down. Exhale, squeeze seven. Inhale to lower. Now please listen to your backs, guys. Stay where you feel safe here and let's go lower. And lift, you wanna keep checking your hip bones are in line. Those belly staying rock hard. And four, try not swing that leg up and down. Work with amazing control. We have three, watch your shoulders. And two, last time, breathe. One, if this is where you stopped, do the same. If you passed with me, let's go. 10 and nine, keep it controlled. Eight, you never want to thrust those hips up and down, supporting the spine always. We have five more and four more and three. Breathe two and one. Excellent. Bring your feet into the band. Bend your knees into your chest. Imprinting the spine. Take a moment to rest. Let's give this lower back some recovery. Lengthening legs and circle around for four. The point of these circles is just to constantly bring this rush of blood flow over those erector spinae muscles, those back muscles, the fillets of the back, I like to call them. Either way, and with blood flow brings new cells, repair, energy. Good. And from here, bend those knees back into your chest. You can give them a bit of a pull so it's a deeper low spine activation. And I want to use the band for support of the low back and let's target these transverse abdominis muscles. So now the whole point of the exercise is neutral spine, different to where we were earlier. Now I want you to have that little gap. Don't let that back change from that position. I want your legs at 90, even if the knees have to be bent, that's totally fine. Be cautious that your shoulders don't have FOMO and get involved. Now from here, you're gonna trigger that core, lower the legs down, and the second you feel your spine is compromised, your form will wanna change, that is your range, don't go further. Take a deep breath. Now this is where the real work comes in because you'll feel your back wanting to flatten, You'll feel your legs just wanting to kick up or fling up. Don't let that happen. Let's go again. As you lower down, you want to feel how the ribs, that belly flattens, those transverse muscles should be rock hard. Take a deep breath and exhale. Guys, this is where you check that lower back is staying off in neutral, no flat. And let's go lower for three. And for those of you who do have really tight or vulnerable lower backs, you're not making this a big move at all, even if it's a few millimeters. Really bring your awareness into that tightening of your TAs, these muscles in front of the hips. Let's go for four more. If it starts to get too much, you stop at any point. Deep breath. Exhale. Five counts to the four. Three. Two and one, deep breath, exhale. Think of this as lengthening, leaning out those abdominals, yes. And slowly bringing these legs back up for two, inhale. Breathe out, really building up that body awareness, knowing what your range is, not letting yourself go beyond. And let's slowly bring it back to center. Now you can stay at your maximum with me and hold for five breaths. For four and three. Breathe two, connect from those abs. One, lifting up. Good and relax. Amazing. Please join me on your side, taking that band or belt over that top foot. I want you resting your neck, feet on line with you, lift your ribcage and belly for me, 
and anchor your bent hand on your hip. This is not allowed to move. So be strict. Feel how the shoulder blades connect in position. Toes and kneecaps are staying forward as we resist that leg up. Inhale, lower down, keeping that beautiful gap between ribs and belly for two. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift three. Inhale, come down. Breathe out to lift four. Inhale, lower. Exhale, five. And come down. Breathe out for six. And lower. Exhale, seven. And come down. Breathe for eight. And down. Exhale, nine. And one more. Now keep that leg up on ten. Check your ribcage and belly's lifted. And circle around for one. Not letting that body tilt forward and back. Two. Really keep that back strong in the neutral spine. Four. Circle for five. Breathe out for six. Exhale for seven. One more for eight. Other way. Let's go for one. Breathe out for two. Exhale for three. Breathe out for four. Keep checking that gap. And five. Breathe out for six. Exhale for seven. Option A is to hold that leg in position. Option B, pulse for a little burn. Ten and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. If you want to stay for power option, keep your leg in that band and still at the top. Don't let it move. If you want a gentle option, you place your leg over like so. And everyone underneath leg is going to glide up to work your inner thighs and glide down. Breathe up to lift up. And we come down. I'll show you that advanced option for three. Inhale, lower. Exhale, four. Not letting those hips tilt. Breathe out, five. If it's too much to balance, go into that gentle option. Six. Watch that knees not bending. Toes and kneecaps facing forward to me. Let's do three more. And down. And two more. And down. And one more. Now holding that leg up and pulsing 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Relax. Drop that band. Giving that bum two seconds of breathing time and let's see that leg lift series. Squeeze your legs together. I want your toes pointing, please. Stack your hips. For the gentle option, our hands are on the ground. For advanced, you want to place your hand here and show me this control as we lift those legs up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Feeling this beautiful side activation. Three, we lift and lower. Breathe for four. Down. Exhale, five. And lower. Breathe out, six. And come down. Exhale, seven. And lower. Breathe out, eight. And down. Exhale, nine. And one more. Holding it here at maximum. Ten breaths. Nine. How high can you go? Eight. Watch that hip line. Seven. Breathe, six. Exhale, five. And four. And three. Breathe, two. And one, excellent, relax, stood in. Scoop your knees in front. Let's give these lower bodies some breathing time, reaching hands. If you need that leg support, remember you can always bend your underneath arm and release. And I'm hoping every time we come to this exercise, you feel the improvement of your upper spine, your shoulder, your neck range. For those of you who do suffer with tension in neck and shoulders, this should really be one of your everyday moves, even lying in bed, just to align all the right areas. On this rep, let's stay in that position and just enjoy for four, for three, breathe two, and one lovely stuff. And let's go up and over everything on the other side.
side. Let's balance you out. Band over that top foot, please. Stretching those arms. Okay, remember feet are flex. Lift your rib cage and belly. Theraband hand does not move. It is officially anchored, which means shoulder blades stay connected. Let's squeeze this up. Inhale, come down. And always bringing that awareness into your alignment, chicken toes, kneecaps, hips. Breathe out for three. I'm hoping that awareness is feeding into your daily lives. Good. Always core away. Five more. And down. Breathe out four. Every time that leg is lifting, tummy tightens. And three. Come down. Exhale two. And holding these legs up on one. The circle around for eight. This is where you want to watch your shoulders and hips, keeping them anchored. Exhale and four. Breathe out for five. Exhale for six. Breathe out for seven. And one more for eight. Other way. Let's go one. Breathe out for two. Deep breath out three. Exhale for four. Breathe out for five. Exhale for six, breathe out for seven, and option A was to hold, option B was a power pulse, and two, and three, and four, breathe five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, option A to stay here for the power, if you want that gentle, we drop that foot underneath legs, lifting up, inhale, lower, breathe out two, and come down. Exhale, three of you on that power option, watching that pelvis doesn't tilt. That's a bit of core sneakiness right there. Love it. Five more, lift. Watch that knees not bending, four. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. And let's pulse that leg up for 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, breathe, six. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax. Beautiful. Oh, love those. Point your toes, feet slightly in front of you. Remember for the gentle option, hand on the ground. Advance through here, and ten reps, and down. And with this, you want to notice the ability to not tense up the body. That power is all in the sideline here, where our obliques meet into the side lower back. Not letting that hip tilt. Watching your knees don't bend. Those are all the checkpoints for these moves. And let's go for four more. Down. Exhale for three. And down. Exhale, lift two, and down. Now show me your eyes point. Ten breaths, nine, and eight, and seven. Breathe out six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Joey showing us his downward dog. Very nice, and relax. Scooping legs in front, hands in front, neck relaxed, and upper spines. Releasing it out. And always noting if one side's a lot tighter than the other. And if so, how can you change your posture, your placement, so that you rebalance yourselves? Two more. Breathe out as we reach it over. Inhale, come back for one more. Exhale, let's anchor this down. And enjoy that stretch for three. And two, breathe one, lovely stuff. And please join me in your seated position facing me. I want your legs in a V. Now, I want you to always work on this lift up. That's the strength I'm hoping you are feeling that improvement. If you need to soften the knees to be able to sit comfortably, that's totally fine. Toes and kneecaps are staying facing up. Lift these arms out to the side, grow tall through the skull. And from your hips, don't move as we rotate. Inhale, you want to watch your other legs don't roll in. Lifting in your spine, rotate. Getting that back so mobile. 
Show me that stability in your hips. That is what we are working on. And I know it's getting stronger and stronger. I can just feel it. Two more, breathe out. Inhale, come back. Exhale, and last time, each way to inhale, center, breathe out. Now draw your hands forward, lift up in your spine, stick your bum out to the back and lengthen your fingertips to me, tilting your body forward and coming back again. Can you lift up even more up and over those tailbones and come back two more. Breathe out, up and forward. And one, now we're gonna stay here. And reach your hands to the ground. Walk your hands forward. Imagine I'm behind you, very gently pressing you forward. Check your feet and knees are lifting to the roof. And stay up for five. And four. And three. Breathe two, good. And one, rolling your spine up. Grab hold of that bag for me. Bend that one knee in. I want you to glide your other leg to the side, placing your band over the foot for me. Now, anchor your sitting bones down, palm faces up. Pull your band towards you as we stretch up and over. Inhale, release. It's important to me your collarbones are open to the front, your chest staying open. And come back. One more, let's reach. Now, if you can, without straining neck and shoulder, keep that line, but grab your theraband or belt. Elbow stays lifting. And feel that magnificent opening here in the side of those ribs, those lats. If it's too much on neck and shoulder, stay here. Please listen to the body. Keeping that core incredibly tight. Turn your chest, walk along your band, shoulders stay down, toes pull up towards you, and stretch this out. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take that leg, place it in front of you. Take this other ankle, place it onto your thigh. And I want you to go for a walk along that band. Watch these shoulders, remember they generally are the rebels of the body in these kind of moves, so pull them down and hold it here. And this is a combo, it's calf, it's hamstring, it's hips, it's back, all the areas we want and need mobile to prevent pain and strain. Beautiful stuff guys, slide that band off. I want you to tilt onto your hand or onto your forearm, pull this leg back, and stretch out that thigh, that hip flexor, that front line, without letting your back arch. So keep that rib cage and belly tight. Lovely, and let's see what this other side is doing. So, other leg out to the side, band over that foot, chest facing forward to me, and let's go for your three ribs, gluing those hips down, inhale back. Two more, breathe out to reach and come back for one more. And if your neck and shoulder allows that deep option, lift that elbow up and hold. If it's too intense, please rather stay on that gentler option. Good, feeling that opening down that sideline. What about sitting tension that we build up? We get it rid of it. Keeping your core activation as you turn gently and walk along that band. Feel these shoulders melt away from your ears. Excellent. And placing your leg in front of you. Ankle onto your thigh and walk down that band. Check your shoulders and just hold that stretch. Five, four, Three, two, we're gonna slide that theraband off. Lean onto your side as you pull this leg back and into your beautiful thigh and flexor. Stretch out, sitting out of your shoulders. Always posture away. Good. 
and from this position I want your legs extended in front of you, band over the feet and I want you to lift up in your spine, so prioritize your back staying flat. Walk those hands forward or those hands forward on the bands and hold it here, toes to nose, feel that zing, calves, hamstrings and spine. And on the next one, let go of your bands, point your toes, reach your hands forward, curl in your spine and hold for five, four, three, two and one, slowly rolling it up and let's do our spinal test, hands and knees, cat and cow, hands under shoulders, knees and legs, draw your shoulders away from ears. And let's see, and I always love to say, does your spine feel like freedom in the back? And releasing it up. Good, breathe out as we tuck and curl. And gently moving into a release. Three, breathe out as we curl the body. And inhale, release it out. One more, breathe out as we curl the body. And lengthen your neck and spine, give me a beautiful side tilt, looking to the back. Inhaling, center, other way, side tilt to the back. Inhale, back, one more each way, tilt and hold. And back, tilt to hold. And bring your feet together, open up your knees, imagine I'm gently pressing up and down your spine, giving you that beautiful stretch in your shoulders, your back. Focus on your breath here, resetting the central nervous system for the rest of your day. Walk your hands one side, take your other hand and place it on top to deepen the stretch. Other way, walk over and stretch. And you can either stand up nice and slow if you can, join me in the downward dog to stand up. Let's go there. Walk your hands to feet and take your time guys, slowly bringing your body upright. We're good, joining me in the center, hands around your head, gently tucking down. Inhaling back, flex or hand behind you for that beautiful sideline stretch. And up and over, flex or hand behind you and stretch. Lower the arm, reaching hand up, imagine I'm pulling on your hips as you sway to the side. Inhale, swap, breathe out, sway to the side. And interlace hands behind you, stretch out shoulders, chest if your neck allows you to lift up, go there. Curl the spine, reaching your hands forward. Lifting your hands up through the roof. Grab onto your wrist as you pull up and over. Inhale, swap, up and over. And let's check out our spines, tucking chin, soft knees rolling down. And let's do our last stretch of the session as you hold it here, lift your tailbone to the ceiling. Stretch these legs, I'm hoping they're feeling like brand new legs. So mobile, so agile. Soften your knees, zip in your core, and as you roll up, be really strict with placement. Set that posture incredibly for your day. And give me two breaths with energy. And deep exhale for one more strong breath in. And deep exhale and relax. Well done, guys. I hope you feel full body worked and ready for the rest of your day and week. 
hope you feel amazing and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us and just so much love guys, stay healthy, stay safe and mwah from Kaylin and Dale and Joey and Delilah and Fur Dogs, babies, all of us.